candy cones welcome back to another stylicious and delicious cake and candy episode it's still winter and i'm still crazy for frozen treats and crazy for the movie frozen and so i thought why not combine it both so here is my take on Walt Disney's movie Frozen with some stylicious and delicious cake pops. As usual, I start this tutorial with an already mixed and crumbled cake pop dough which is ready to go and you find the recipe in the info box at the top right corner. I use my blue cake pop shaper and start molding my sphere cake pops and to bring it in the perfect shape I use my hands as well. I insert the cake pop stick into the cake ball and I do that by slightly twisting the cake pop stick while I'm pushing it halfway through. And I repeat that step with all the other cake balls I have and for this tutorial I used approximately I think 10 to 12. Then we cover the cake pop completely by just covering the cake pop in white candy coating and make sure when you pull it out that all the excess drips off the cake pop that it gets a nice even finish. Let the cake pop rest for one minute and then place it upside down on your working space and then you have a standing cake pop. And now comes the fun part with all the decoration and colors and since this is a frozen related tutorial we work with all kinds of pink and purples and turquoise colors and you will find all the colors and all the materials that I use in this tutorial in the description box below. Start with the pink color. I used my uh, rolling pin to roll it out and used a snowflake uh, plunger, a plugger, I don't know what the English word is. Uh, if, you, if you know it, post it in the comments down below that I learn a little bit of English here. And then I rock it back and forth um, over my working, sp working space and um, yeah, make sure that I get everything out nice and clean. And um, yeah, this is how it looks like. And I found that the moving it um, back and forth on my working space really helps. And um, yeah, that I don't have any problems having uh, weird edges or it looks always kind of on point. So um, yeah, this is how I do it. And of course we do that with all colors that we have and I highly recommend that you do it in the previous days before you start doing the cake pops because it's a lot of work to do and um, yeah. And if you have any of these snowflake molds you can also use them. I love to work with them. I always put a little bit of um, cornstarch to it that the fondant doesn't stick to them to stick to the to the shapes and then I roll a little um, balls and I balls or berries I don't know what the correct word is and then I I push it into uh, the shape into the mold and I make sure that every every centimeter or every inch every every part is covered with fondant and the trick is because it's very tiny and empty and very fragile I put it in the fridge or even in the freezer for half an hour or 20 minutes and when I when I put it back, it can be easily put out of um, the mold, and I think it's just perfect. This is how a day of work looks like. Total fun, but totally exhausted right now. <laughs> And I'm also adding a little bit of um, powdered color um, on the snowflakes to make them pop out a little bit more. Uh, you can add sheen to it, you can add matte colors to it. Um, it brings in a lot of variety and looks super beautiful. Uh, you can even work with um, a rainbow metallic effects on them. Um, that is also a very nice option and um, yeah, be creative, do what you like, do the colors you like. When you use uh, liquid colors, make sure that you don't use too much of them 
because the fondant might get sticky and that is something we would want to avoid. And since Mama is really obsessed with glitter, of course we need some glitter in this tutorial. So I put the snowflakes uh, in water and then I place it back on a paper towel to make sure it's not too wet and then I place it in the glitter bowl. Um, all the ingredients are listed down below by the way. And make sure that I get them out and a fork is really helpful for that. Not only for eating cake but actually for doing cake and cake pops. Um, yeah, this is how it looks like. Pretty easy, pretty quick. And of course you do that with all the colors that you have and with all the snowflakes that you want to uh, cover in glitter with. And I colored the cake pops in different colors. Uh, the brand is in the description box below. And um, yeah, I just uh, used a brush and I painted them pretty easily. Uh, each cake pop got um, their own color to give some sort of a variety in here and um, yeah, pretty easy and pretty quick. Recently, I totally forgot to film this part. You need to paint the cake pop with piping gel and then place a ton of glitter over it and then you have this glitter look. Next, I prepared the paper straws. Um, I used different washi papers in all kinds of frozen related colors, so pink, turquoise, purple and then I took a stripe of the washi paper that has the same that had the same size as the um, a paper straw and then I placed it in the middle of the stripe and then I rocked it back and forth till everything was glued to the paper straw and um, I repeated it the second time to cover all of my paper straw and then I used a scissor to cut off uh, the edges to have a nice clean cut. And then I used a little bit of white candy coating um, to glue the paper straw to the stick and that works pretty well. And by the way, if you want to see more Frozen related or Walt Disney related treats, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, you can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest and Instagram. And if you want, share my videos with the rest of Candyland. Make sure that the cake pop looks nice and clean again. And in this final step, we glue the snowflakes to the cake pop. We use a toothpick and we use um, white candy coating. And then we arrange that around the cake pop. I always put snowflakes to my stick but also to um, the cake ball, of course. And in between those snowflakes, I like to um, use different kinds of snowflakes, ones that are made out of glitter, ones that has a little bit of sheen, some are more matte. And of course, you repeat that step with all of the cake pops that you have there. You can stay within one color family or you can go in the opposite direction. You can do whatever you want. And here we have it. This is my take on Walt Disney's movie Frozen in collaboration with my kitchen. I really like the colors and all the glitter. It's a perfect cake pop for me. So Candy Cones, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a like or leave a comment down below. I see you all in the next videos and always remember, stay sweet and stay true. Bye.